<laughs> and we are back. Uh, we have this the third game that is. We have OGS Finn against OGS the STC. We have a Terran versus Terran, and at the bottom of Antigua Shipyard, the third map or the first match today, we have Finn in the blue colors. His opponent to the top is the STC once again. Two really interesting matches that we've seen so far. We had the first game, which was probably the uh, one of the most exciting Terran vs Terran that I've been casting in a while. We had a very, very nice double barracks proxy build by the STC. And in the end, it didn't avail to anything because we had just the impeccable defense of OGS Finn. And then on the second game, a little bit of technical issues, thanks to the Gong Wizard, they have been resolved. But yeah, the STC was able to tie the series with his mech play. The bio forces of Finn didn't hold a candle to the strategy of his opponent. And well, now we have the third game, so this is what he comes down to. Who is going to take the third match and will advance in uh, the code A? And who is going to be uh, the loser of this game? None of those players has taken gas just yet. We have. Actually, we have the STC just getting a lot of minerals right now, so he might well start with the 14 uh, command center. We have gas already for his opponent, so Finn is not starting with the one barracks expand, something that we've been waiting for. There's the another SCV, and one is already trying to get outside of the main base into position at the natural, just having a couple of scouting information. And there it is, 14 command center for the STC, playing a little bit more, oh, well, around the economy based build and with the gas obviously Finn has now a lot of options he can go for this very very early, well not very very early Banshee but he can go for a Banshee play so far he didn't build anything that indicates that he would try to go for an expansion and we have him with the scouting information just now he knows fully well what's happening uh, trying to delay the expansion a bit by attacking the SCV at the bottom and yeah let's see what he's going to follow his strategy up with this is going to be uh, quite interesting. Is he going for a command center or is he actually just trying to... Oh, that was a close one. Or is he trying to start... Oh, he's going for the tech lab right away. <laughs> trying to hunt down the SCV. That is actually pretty cool. And there it is. We have a killer SCV Hitman style in the red taking down the Harvester for Finn. And now we have a second barracks being built. Building the second barracks while there are the first Reapers being produced. Reapers now for Finn and he will have enough minerals to throw down a command center, uh, center on his own. Which is probably exactly what this SCV is going to do. Yep, there it is. And kaboom. Command center number two. The first marine is just saying hi. It's like, hey guys, how are you? How's the day been? And yeah, marine against marine. Nice micro there by the STC. And the marine dies. The SCV with one kill. This is the day of the merciless SCVs apparently. Already two of them with one kill. If another one takes down the Reaper, I would be quite impressed. But well, let's not get out of ourselves. We already have Stim being researched now for Finn. He's going for additional Marines. And this is pretty cool. The Marines are already just waiting for the Reaper to arrive. And it would be too funny if you would jump into the smoke screen and then suddenly be welcomed by the two Marines. But no. Nope. He's headed for the expansion, the Reaper is on its way. And will it be able to kill enough SCVs to make it count? Two additional barracks now for Finn. And here we go, taking down his opponent's units. At least one of the SCVs just died, the Reaper is retreating for now. Already has two kills, apparently there was a scouting SCV that he was able to uh, deny. That's also the reason why he positioned his Marines as he did. Okay, that explains it. Two kills, and let's see if he's going to get another one. The Marines are in position, and yep, another kill. Three SCVs already. Nice micro, nice stutter step there by the STC, but in the end, the Reaper gets away. In the main base, we have the reactor being built. The upgrades obviously will be a lot faster now for the uh, for OGS Finn. This is the huge advantage that he has, and he's going for two additional barracks with the reactor, so he will have a ton of Marines. And if he moves in, then he should be able to do a lot of damage. And I think this is exactly what we are going to see an attack by OGS Finn with Stim. He's trying to move out already. We have the engineering bay and he might need it as there is already one starport being built and the tech lab is in position so we will be good old 
the building swap and then the banshee is going to be produced but with the engineering bay he should be fine he already has the middle of the map and i think that we are going to see a lot of marines very very soon he has double gas nonetheless a lot of income though and he will be able to afford building units out of those three barracks with these so there's a lot of marines being built combat shield now being researched as well as the plus one attack upgrade this is a huge buy of force ladies and gentlemen his tech is obviously delayed but the marines should be able to do quite a lot of damage there's one bunker that's all there is but with stim i feel that he can definitely take down the bunker if the scc is not prepared for it we already have 12 to 11 marines so there's a decent force for the stc as well but those numbers they will change in favor of ogs finn very 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 soon scv for the stc scouts the third base tries to have a quick look if there's anything happening and in the middle of the map there's the marine force for finn both of these players are about to complete their um, combat shield and we have the first turrets yes one turrets down in the main base none at the expansion so far scv is killed by the marines and let's have a quick look at how many marines we have for the STC and four Finn now. 21 to 15, one Banshees, six additional Marines, and he's moving out now. There will be more in just a few seconds. Five additional ones are being produced, and he needs to make sure that those Marines do some damage now because the tanks are already being produced. And uh, if the tank, uh, well, if there are tanks out on the field and the siege mode, then he's in for some trouble. And so is the expansion, as just now the Banshee arrives. He's stimming in, stim does not do anything for him, no scan, he's not scanning, finally a scan, but I don't think that the missile turret is going to uh, finish in time. Very nice position for the STC's Banji, look at how many kills he already has. He has 6 kills and he's just taking down the turret, he can attack additional marines, most of them are already heavily injured, combat shield is done now, but this Banshee control is really something. 8 kills already, finally the missile turret is done, and the marine count 24 to 28, attacking now with this force would be kind of suiciding, especially with the tanks out on the field. If he would have tried, if he was trying to do a little bit of damage, he could have, he should have done it before. We also have some SCVs in uh, the bunker trying to uh, repair if need be, but this is looking pretty good for the STC now. He started with the, for, with the command center first, he has the better economy, we'll just get a couple of numbers on this we have 46 scvs to 42 he had the command center already a little bit longer than his opponent 30 to 31 marines and he has his tech he doesn't not only have banshees but he also has siege tanks and is getting medivacs too and this is looking pretty good one banshee with plus one kill just getting a bloody nose at the missile turret and yeah, this is looking pretty pretty good now but this drop this is the one thing that might do something for Finn, is he able to pull it off? Is the drop being able to achieve anything? There's a force of marines at the bottom. We have combat shield and stim ready, so he can just stim in. And yes, Finn has to move back. Finn has to move back, and this game is not going well for him. Everything worked in favor of the STC now. A couple of harvesters have been lost. The damage dealt to Finn was not too severe, but he still is behind in this game. And the drops just retreating to the middle of the map once again. Let's have a quick look at the units killed. Five workers to four. A couple of marines been taken out by the Banshee as well, obviously. But so far, a little bit of a stalemate. We have the armory now ready. Or about to be ready for Finn. He also has 1-1 one, one upgrades. And that's the one advantage that he has over his opponent. Because the SSC just finished his attack upgrade. He's now going for the armor upgrade for the first one quick look at the bottom of the map it reveals that we still have um, that we have the armory by now 48 to 50 SCVs no third base for neither one of them and now the STC is moving out is the tank count is favoring the red Terran he has six to two tanks he's trying to make sure that his opponent is not aware of this position if he is actually able to walk past his opponent's army and siege up that would be awesome but the scv scouts what's happening and now he is moving to the bottom this is going to be very very interesting 
There are the siege tanks. Oh my god, this is a little bit of a race here, ladies and gentlemen. Is he able to siege up in time? It certainly looks like it. Oh my god, all those tanks for GG dropping in supply like crazy. The tanks obliterating every single unit that he has. Another tank mis rallied. And now we have a 25 supply lead for the STC taking his third base because he can and here are a bunch of dropships that he is trying to rescue but this was a huge blow to the army of OGS Finn wow the STC with a nice position now is waiting for the reinforcements and there are quite a few of them a 30 supply lead a third base being built and obviously another command center for for GG as well but this is this is really really something that is a huge force for for GG 86 87 army supply to 52 51 wow this is going to be quite the battle now for GG once again behind the STC trying to lay siege to his opponent and the thing is, if he is just in a, delaying this third base a little bit longer, he will be in a good position. And wow, the, look, look at this range. This is just amazing. He needs to be careful though. There's the, there's the scan. The tanks on the high ground getting obliterated. Still 24 supply ahead. The tank is dying. And wow, this is not going well for, for GG. Is he able to pull this defense off? He's dropping onto his opponent's tanks and there are no Marines left. The SCB is taking charge as well. Tanks dying everywhere. Is for GG pulling it off? He's killing every single tank so far. But at what cost? For GG lost a ton of workers already. He is down to 36 against 44. Still something that he can definitely live with. But we have another drop trying to take down the command center. Is he able to do it? There are Marines against Marines. Plus two attack upgrade already. 4-4 four, four, GG. He's moving in. And there's a mule for the STC trying to repair the orbital command. Make sure that he is not losing it. And this is so important. But still a 20 supply lead for the STC. In the middle of the map we have the reinforcements now. The main army. The STC and for GG at the bottom. He was not able to get his third base just yet. He doesn't even have the orbital command. So we have three orbitals against two. And how many harvesters do we have now? 50 against 44. The STC definitely with a decent lead in this game now. 136 supply against 109. The middle of the map controlled by the STC. And he's getting now plus two, plus two upgrades. For GG is on plus two, plus one. And well, over the course of the time, there's definitely going to be an advantage for the STC in regards to the upgrades as well. So Finn needs to get into a good position if he wants to make this one count. But he's completely caught out of position. His siege tanks are not sieging up just yet. And the siege line of the STC is obliterating every single Marine. All of them are dying and now the Marines die as well. The force of the OGS player in the blue colors has been taken down. OGS the SCC against OGS Finn. 130 supply against 90. We have the STC getting farther and farther ahead in this battle. Another drop has been denied at the left side of the map. And this is going to be, uh, well, this is going to be pretty brutal. The STC is in a commanding lead. Eight tanks against four and 41 Marines against 23. He's basically doubling the army of his opponent. A 40 supply advantage. And I don't have to uh, emphasize, I think, that in a mirror match, this is a really, really good position to be in. The rocks are being destroyed. And as soon as he can lay siege to this third base, this should be lights out for Finn. If he's not able to pull off another miracle comeback, then this will be the end of it. The siege tanks sieging up in the back. No more siege tanks in position for OGS Finn. And here come Marines rally in from everywhere. This should be game. Doing a lot of damage. A 60 supply lead by now. Wow. And his upgrades will hit in just a few seconds. Then he will have the upgrade advantage as well. Not only for the Marines, but also for the tanks. He's streaming in with everything he has. The Marines getting killed. The tanks at the bottom as well. This should be it for GG dropping in supply. 150 against 80. And this third base is being killed. Yep, there it is. The command center is dead and gone. And we have... 
the SCC doubling the supply of Finn. Plus two, plus two for the STC, plus two attack and one armor upgrade for Finn. Siege tank upgrades are even one to one and now a fourth base being taken in the middle of the map for GG is moving out in a desperate attempt to take down his opponent's forces but he will be sandwiched from two sides, there we go. We have tanks everywhere, that's the GG. The game is over ladies and gentlemen and the STC comes out the victor and advances to the next round of today. Alright, so much for the first game of the day ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Terran versus Terran, we have Finn being defeated by his teammate by OGS the STC and uh, soon we'll start with the second game of the day. We're just waiting now for the players to get ready. Obviously, they have to switch booths now, uh, booths now and prepare the hardware and everything. So we will be back after a short break with the second match of the day at the Code A B stream. And obviously, there's also the main stream where you can uh, listen to Moljab and Wolf casting players like Sen and Slayer's Boxer. We'll be back in just a few. Stay tuned.